Yeah. Well, that, it also yeah. seems to me what you said about the Democratic Party can also be said about the Republican Party, because I think right. I've seen a real divide with Republicans. You have, you know, it, it came with the Tea Party, and then you have people that are that are far, 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 far right. There are people that are more moderate. And and, and if you look at it, there are 40 GOPers that are resigning from, mm -hmm. from uh, Congress. Yep. And, and so my question is, you know... I don't know why people are seems, clapping for that, it, by the way, because the, if, you're, if this is a liberal audience, the GOPers that are resigning are more moderate. Yeah. That's why today I'm announcing that this year will be my last one as a member of the House. Uh, to be clear, I am not resigning. I intend to pull my served term as I was elected to do. Uh, okay, so f cheering kind of surprises me a little bit because Paul Ryan is a politician of an era gone by. He was one of the most powerful congressmen between 2009 2016 mm -hmm. before Trumpism sort of completely took over. But Speaker Nancy Pelosi isn't one of them. She just told the Washington Post that he's, quote unquote, he's just not worth it. Hmm. She says it will divide the country unless there's bipartisan support. A lot of Democrats disagree with her. What the say is the group? I think hmm. you're right. Do everybody yeah. agrees with her? Sonny, you said you didn't. Oh, I don't agree. It's okay, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> no. Especially when he disparaged a congresswoman, lied about her, and then f refused to apologize. <laughs> so, I just think it's weird to be clapping. Whatever you think about his politics, he lost a son in combat for freedom. And again, clapping in that way, again, your call, everyone can interpret him differently. I do think there are some things that precede politics, and I think service and being in the military and losing a son and being part of a Gold Star family is one of those things. But there, I agree with the turnover rate. You can be both things at the same I, time. I have a hard time clapping for if well, they're clapping. General, can they not? Uh, they they can, no, you they can, everyone can do whatever they want. You can do whatever you want. I'm saying no. for me, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I will say that what bothers me the most of all the coverage of the candidates so far is, and I know you like him, but Beto's coverage infuriates me on an almost daily basis. No woman could ever lose running for Senate and then go on a Jack Kerouac road trip, abandoning his wife and kids, finding himself, then do an announcement on the cover of Vanity Fair. That's what he did. Abandoning. And wow. then going on, he did, he left them and he went on a road trip to find himself after he lost. No woman could do that. Well, we could say and that then he went on, could, just one second. <laughs> then he went on the cover of Vanity True. Fair right. and he said he was born to run. I believe if Kamala Harris or Amy Klobuchar or Elizabeth Warren mm -hmm. had done any of those similar things, they would be lambasted well, yeah. in the media. Because if you have children, and well, nobody will say... So you're a grown-ass man finding yourself after yeah. you ran? I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, honey, you know... I never get applauded, so clearly up. people are agreeing with you, but no, I'm sorry. Men. Wait, I really... Wait. I want to just circle back this because I don't understand. All right. If your husband, if Steve was leaking Oppo research to do a Washington Post reporter, you'd still have sex with him? That's basically what Sonny and Anna are saying. I mean, it's so weird to me. He's I'm sorry, leaking stuff I, I about just, your husband I think and you're people, still okay I think, with it? I think people have... I call such bull, you know what, I, on this. I'm sorry. Thank you, ma'am. If my husband was leaking stuff about me to a journalist, we're still cool with it? I, I Come think, on, I you think, guys. It's Friday. I Can I say that I would normally agree with that, but when you yeah. go on late night shows with Anthony Scaramucci, for me, that diminishes what you're saying. Thanks to the one fan I have in here, by the way. I think under, if you're doing normal cable news hits, I would even say this show, but I think late night appearances with Anthony Scaramucci makes me think different. I don't know what to say about this. No I don't care. <laughs> so sorry. The worst, the worst part, thank you. I'm so sorry. The hands down worst part about this job by far, and it was one of the topics we were gonna do, is that I cannot fake anything. Well, so that's I, it. People disagree with you because 60% say Trump bears the responsibility for the shutdown. Can we show that clip of him taking responsibility for the shutdown? Why does she get clipped? I and am he can, wait, just really quick, really quick. I just want to ask one he question. Can, he can I know you hate Trump. This. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know you want him impeached. I got it. You're but being I want to nice. ask you a question. I'm not being nice. I when you ask say you I hate question. him, you're being nice. <laughs> I want to ask you a question. Let's not get a cheap applause line because I would rather not be like a politician. Okay, the audience can do what they want. You can throw tomatoes at the Republican and so what's I'm just the, trying to what's ask the question? You, what's the question, babe? Do Go Demi ahead. They're giving him everything except the wall because, because it's immoral and it's useless and they know it. Yeah. But I think we have to be intellectually honest with our audience, both in this room and outside, watching from behind the cameras. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he will Delaware go. Delaware on his ass so yeah. quick, yeah, and I will look forward to it. Yeah, Honestly, I'm true. ready for a fight here. Honestly, but his, I'm ready for someone to punt, counter punch <laughs> in a way that will be effective. Me too, I agree. And I mean it sincerely. <laughs>
it's, there was something chivalrous about it. It's in about, sense, Joe Biden. about Joe Biden saying, you know, if he said that and we were in high school, I'd take him out back and I'd kick his butt. Yeah. And I thought, you know, there's, there's, there was something about about but I will say I don't like any advocation of violence there's it, bullying it's not to make it macabre but there is bullying going on in school people uh, Trump is such a bully I almost and I hate to say this I, you know why hasn't anybody taken him out back and kicked his little butt like it, it's like he's we such a he probably has it. It. but we should yeah, be advocating for yeah. violence but yeah. we so really should be advocating for violence yeah. I think it's a really dangerous area when right. President Trump no, was saying all this stuff yeah. no but when President Trump no. was saying all this stuff during the rallies during the election yeah, we don't all like you guys it. had yeah. a lot to say about yeah. the rhetoric and people oh, getting kicked out loud let's not have a double standard here I don't like double standards stand up to him why doesn't anybody just stand up to him Stop it. The president of the United States, you want somebody to take him out back and beat the crap out of him? That's not reality. Let's talk about the debt. I just, yeah. I can't with all yeah. of that. I mean, it, that's so, I mean, I'm not having... Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't mean it. Say it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean it. No, I, I mean, I wish somebody would stand up to the uh, We do every day here. We do And it already looks like it's a it's a you know boxing match between him and Trump. I for one look forward to the fight all day every day, and I can't believe we're like coming up on less than a year till the New Hampshire primary. It's going to be crazy. You know what? When you want to feel soft and warm, especially in the but Trump administration, I think, I think, I think, I think not, Obama no, did it right. Uh, well, I think I Obama think, did it with complete class. But I also class. think it's a part. Let me finish. Can't unring the Trump bell, and I'm sorry if he'll fight with a dead war hero. He'll certainly fight with him and his family. That's true. And I think you need to live in reality about who your opponent is. Okay, I understand that, and this is what I'm saying about. It. Pat Benatar, Diana Ross, Celine Dion, Cher, yeah. Stevie Nicks. So, like, thank you, Stevie Nicks. I ride so Stevie hard Nicks. for Stevie She's Nicks. She's the best. <laughs> thank I you very Stevie much. Mm -hmm. But why is Kelly so shocked? Shocked, well, I We tell shouldn't you. make levity All of, of this. Sudden. We're talking about the abuse of a woman. I mean, look at that photo. Two. We should not We're be laughing. About Kelly. Or We're talking, talking about, about Kelly. We're like, not talking about abuse right now. Don't say and something one like that. Like, we are laughing and making We are laughing at him being shocked. It's not. It's very serious. Well, and as a Republican, I am offended. As a Democrat, I'm offended by Republicans. <laughs> you know what? Well, look, 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 ladies. So, let's, 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 let's talk about the issue at hand. Let's talk about the issue at hand.